Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Laravel e-commerce Aramex shipping plugin. Now this particular plugin integrates the Aramex shipping within your web store and thus the customers can make use of the Aramex shipping service to get their orders delivered at their doorstep. The customers will find the particular Aramex shipping uh, service at the time of checkout there. Now the admin will be able to enable or disable the Aramex shipping for the checkout. The admin will have to enter the country name and the account pin for the proper functioning of the particular Aramex shipping. The admin can enable or disable the cash on delivery service for the Aramex shipping. Uh, the admin can specify the weight class as kilograms or pounds as required and it works for both the domestic as well as international uh, ways there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin at the customer's end and I'll be showing you the initial configuration settings of this particular plugin in the last uh, there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I've already logged into my customer account. That's Tony right now as you can see and here I'm having a few products uh, so what I'll be doing is I'll be adding the particular product one of the products that's the painting product into the cart there and I'll be making a checkout thereafter so after adding the product into the cart I'll tap here on the checkout uh, button so I'm just showing you how the customers will be able to select the Aramac shipping at the time of checkout there so here uh, at the checkout page, as you can see, I can select a particular address that I've saved or I can add a new address as well by tapping here on the add new address button. So for now, I'll be selecting Peter Doe, uh, 32 uh, Street Lane, 9001, California, US. And uh, I'll be selecting this. So after I've selected this particular address here, you can see that uh, we have the select shipping method section wherein we have the Aramex shipping that uh, says that the Aramex shipping would be $101.37 there. And uh, on the right hand side, after we have selected the shipping method, we can see these uh, the delivery charges as $101.37 there. So after selecting the shipping method as Aramex shipping, the customers can select their preferred payment method and can proceed further to place the order now under the order summary here as well you can see uh, the uh, delivery charges are 101 dollars and 37 cents there and after uh, viewing the particular order summary the customers can place the order by tapping here on the place order button after tapping on the place order button the order would get placed and uh, the customers can thereafter with the order details as well so we have placed the order there so if i want i can go to my order section and here i can view the particular order that we had uh, placed so i can wave it up and here if i scroll down under the shipping method i can see that i had selected the aramex shipping method uh, there for getting the order delivered at my doorstep as a customer there so this was the customer's workflow, how the customers can select the Aramex shipping method at the time of checkout. Now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you the initial configuration settings that are required for this particular plugin. That's the Laravel e-commerce Aramex shipping plugin. Now what we'll be doing is we'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the email password and tapping on the sign in button. Now the very first thing that uh, needs to be done initially before making use of this particular plugin within your web store is that we need to set the origin of the store and that would be used for calculating the uh, the uh, shipment there. So for that what we'll do is on the side panel we'll go to configure and here we'll be going to sales. Under sales uh, we have the very first option as shipping. Uh, then we have the shipping methods. We'll uh, go to the shipping methods in a while from now. But under the shipping, we have the configuration settings where we'll, we'll be able to set up the origin uh, for our store. So here we have set the origin as India, the state as Uttar Pradesh, the city as Noida, the street address, the zip code. You can set up the store name as well, your WAC number, contact number, and bank details as well for your origin. Uh, store there and then you need to tap here on the save button to save the initial configuration settings 
Now to configure the Anamic shipping method, what we need to do is we need to go to the shipping method section. So I'll tap here on the shipping methods and here we'll find the complete list of shipping methods and here we are having the Aramex shipping method so if I tap on that that will bring up the configuration section uh, for configuring the settings for the Aramex shipping now here you'll be able to set up the title that would be visible to the customers at the time of checkout so whatever you enter here would be visible to the customers on the checkout page there after they have selected their address or they have entered their address basically they need to set up their address and uh, the zip code should be correct there only if the zip code is correct then the shipping method of the aramex would be displayed to the customers for selection there then we have enable on checkout so here you can enable or disable this particular shipping method at the time of checkout so if you enable it up it would be visible to the customers at the time of checkout there then we have the sandboxing uh, mode or the testing mode right now we have uh, enabled the sandbox or the testing mode and we are uh, making use of this particular functionality of the Aramex shipping in the testing environment if you want to go with the uh, production mode or the live environment uh, then you can do it as disabled and then you can set up the different uh, uh, entities that need to be entered like uh, the Aramex uh, account country code, account uh, entity, account number, username, password, account pin, these to be need to be entered according to the uh, live mode if you have chosen this as disabled. Otherwise if you choose it as enabled then it would be in the testing mode then you can enter the testing entities here within the configuration settings. So for now we'll be setting it as enabled and uh, for the testing mode then you can choose the weight units uh, between uh, kilograms or pounds as per the requirement there you can choose to calculate the tax as well so you can enable or disable to calculate the tax there you can enable the cash on delivery service uh, for the aramex shipping by choosing this enable option otherwise if you want to disable the cash on delivery service for the aramex shipping you can choose this option as disabled then we have ship to countries so here what you can do is you can select the countries where you want to ship uh, the products to using the Aramex uh, sh uh, shipping method there and here you can multi select or you can control A uh, to select all the countries uh, where you want to ship uh, the products to then you need to uh, select the ship to channel so here you can choose the channel where you, uh, which you want to make use of uh, there then we have the uh, configuration settings for the Aramex uh, itself so from here you have to uh, select your Aramex account country code so whichever uh, country you are in and you are using the Aramex uh, account within that particular country for that you have to select your Aramex account country code then you have to enter the account entity account number your username has to be entered your password has to be entered your account pin has to be entered so what you can do is you can create a customer account at the Aramex itself and then you can get these credentials from the Aramex itself that include the account entity account number username password and the account pin then we have the allowed domestic methods and the allowed international methods so here you can select the domestic methods that should be uh, available if uh, the parcel is to be delivered within the domestic uh, field there then we have the allowed international methods so here you can select the international methods that should be available to the customers for selection at the time of checkout there and these are the international methods that would be available to the customers there so after you have configured these configuration settings here what you need to do is you need to just tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings so yes that was much about the laravel e-commerce aramex shipping plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of how the customers can select the aramex shipping method at the time of checkout and how the admin would be able to set up the origin and how he'll be able to configure the aramex configuration settings in the admin backend panel if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding this particular plugin then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do give it a thumbs up. 
And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.